Good morning everybody. So today we are in Wilmington, North Carolina. We've only had about a 40 mile drive this morning, so not as bad. <laughs> a short one compared to some of the other yes. ones. It looks really nice here though, and as we were googling about the place we didn't realize that a lot of Dawson's Creek was filmed here no I believe Dawson's Creek is one of them programs I've watched on and off over the years but never watched properly never watched it so once we get home we may end up watching Dawson's Creek but yeah. I have watched <laughs> Iron Man 3 and part of Iron Man 3 was filmed around here somewhere right okay so there we go <laughs> but yeah we're just gonna I think we're down by the river walk now is this river behind Cape Fear yes or part of Cape Fear. That's what he said on Google yeah. Maps anyway. So it looks really lovely, but we're just gonna have a wonder and yeah, it's a beautiful day again. We're really lucky, so let's go and explore. So the area looks really nice. It seems like there's a lot of newish buildings. To us, these look very new. They might be a bit old, but it's a it is a nice place it's really clean there's shops and restaurants as you're walking around so just maybe google maps what you want to try and find so just over the other side of the cape fear river you've got the battleship north carolina uh, you can tour this i believe it's 14 dollars each little uh water taxi you can get from this side of the river walk so you don't have to drive over you can get that little water taxi <music> walking around this area now it's so it's such a beautiful place it, it, we were just saying it's just it's just like a film set it's just so it's just pristine it just looks amazing and we've just googled it this michael's on the waterfront behind me so this was the restaurant in dawson's creek that i think dawson's family owned as a fish restaurant so this is what they used whether they used the interior it was the exterior of it anyway we'll have to look into it i wonder if they film maybe the interior on a film set yeah maybe who knows so you can do like a river cruise but i think we're too early in the season i have checked there's a few of them plus i don't really think this one's going anywhere it's got a uh, a log in front of it right so enough about dawson's creek now i'm man free so the scene that i can find that is filmed in wilmington is filmed about two miles that way i don't think we can really get down there because it looks like a big shipyard it says it was the port of wilmington it's the final battle with all the Iron Man suits, with Iron Man and uh, Brody, where he fights the bad guy. I forgot his name now, who can glow orange. But it's about two miles that way anyway. So as you are walking along the river walk, there's some nice restaurants and bars that are facing the river. But then there's also, some of these are to let through Airbnbs. So how nice would that be to, obviously in the summer, not in the winter to uh, sit there on your nice little decking having a gorgeous little view of the river so we're just leaving the river walk part now and we've come one street back and we thought we'd have a look up the back here at some of these quirky little shops and restaurants i like the feel of these would you call this a city i know it says downtown area but i just like these like old buildings they look all really cool. That's one thing we've seen a lot of everywhere. There's still loads of Christmas decorations up. There's some tinsel just there. We've seen like homes with Christmas trees. We even saw a pumpkin the other day. So they're really far behind with their decorations. We even saw, we'll put a picture over now, there was a skeleton in someone's garden with a Christmas hat on. It looked cool. Maybe they just leave it up all year round. So before we head downtown, we thought we'd stop off at this coffee house and. I've just grabbed a coffee and Kev's had a nice cup of tea. I'm guessing it's English breakfast tea, Kev. Yes, they did English breakfast tea with honey. Oh, with honey? Yes, yeah, with honey. So we're going to have this and then head more into downtown. So things to do in Wilmington, North Carolina. So the, one of the things we saw was go on a horse carriage ride. So we just seen one about and on the back it's got like a Valentine's Day special. Come and have a romantic ride. Romance to me and Kev is, let's go for a donut. So Kev said has picked this place apparently it's got good reviews it said inside that it was voted best donut in north carolina by buzzfeed <laughs> 2000 and no we didn't say date. didn't say date <laughs> okay, it could All be right, pretty okay. recent right i've gone for a boston cream anyway that's a nice donut got all like the custard inside i do like a boston cream 
But yeah, it's a nice donut. It's soft. It's not greasy or anything. It'll fill us up a little bit till later. I've had we'll the have same. Your breakfast. Yeah, I've had the same, but mine's got bacon on top. Mm. I always have a donut with bacon on. There was one in there with potato chips on top. I was oh, yeah. debating, but no, I went for the Boston cream. So on the subject of donuts, one of our favourite donuts is a Krispy Kreme, which originally started in Winston Salem, North Carolina. Now driving all through North Carolina. We drove from Virginia down to Raleigh and then down to here in uh, Wilmington. We haven't seen a single Krispy Kreme. So considering it started in North Carolina, we haven't actually seen any because as soon as you see that Krispy Kreme and the red lights on in the window, we pull straight over because they normally give you a free donut straight off the conveyor belt. We can't tell ourselves really, can we Stace? No. So we're pretty much done now in the downtown slash Riverwalk area of Wilmington. On the way back to the car, Stacey loves a tacky gift shop. So we did pop in and we did get a North Carolina license plate. We do collect license plates as well as Starbucks mugs, but we didn't need to get the Starbucks mug in this uh, one because we already got that in the last North Carolina Raleigh video. But I noticed as we were driving around, it says on top, first in flight. And um, we had a Google and it turns out, we didn't realize this, that North Carolina was where the Wright brothers flew the first uh, powered aircraft. So uh, you learn something new every day off license plates. So we've come to Early Gardens now. It's about 10 miles from the river walk area where we just were. So it's $10 each to get in here, but this beautiful tree behind. So it's one of the highlights here at the gardens. So it's a nearly 500 year old oak tree and it's got all the Spanish moss hanging down. It's an absolutely beautiful tree. Yeah, so we're just gonna have a walk around these beautiful gardens. So it does tell you when you come in what flowers are blooming at the particular time or the season that you've come. So I don't think there's much in now, obviously in the height of the summer, this place is gonna look absolutely stunning with loads of flowers and plants, but it's a lovely day. And like we said, look at that tree. <laughs> So there's this little pier near the oak tree so where uh, it brings you out into this creek and it looks absolutely gorgeous there's all boats but then look at these houses on the waterfront oh stacy's just said oh it's lottery day tomorrow if we win no it's lottery day today oh yeah it's today Get back home so yeah we'll check those numbers later kev we could have Ooh. a house here on What's it called? Something Boggy Creek, I think it was. Bo someone's Creek. Yeah. No, it wasn't a bloke's Creek. No, I think it was bag Boggy, bag creek. Creek, Boggy <laughs> creek. Some Creek, I'll put it on the screen now. Some Creek anyway. But Luke, we could be members of this yacht club. I don't think uh, I don't think we'd fit in really. Okay, so we did just look. It was Bradley Creek. I told you it was a bloke's name. I got B right. It wasn't Dawson's Creek anyway. Oh, enough for Dawson's Creek. So welcome to Butterfly House. This lovely butterfly house with no butterflies in. Which Stacey told me, there's a butterfly house you can go walk in with butterflies in. I was like, as soon as we come through, I went, I won't go see the butterflies. I'm not David Attenborough, Kev. I didn't know that the, it says on this sheet that butterflies are active between May and October. But you, I didn't know that. <laughs> but you, hold that up again. You are the map reader. You've got the information. I drive, you read, okay? This is how this combination works. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kev. Next time I'll plan the holiday or vacation and I'll look first, see if there's butterflies in no, season. Just don't lie to me and tell me there's butterflies. You could just say, there's a I butterfly said house. There's a butterfly house. Yeah, you said, and with you can walk in with loads in. of butterflies. <laughs> they're in. everywhere. I said, they're all native to North Carolina, it says on here. I didn't read the bit where it says, yeah, from May to October. So just behind me, this is Bottle Chapel. Apparently, now, this is on Stacey again. <laughs> Apparently, there's 2,000, over 2,800 bottles in this chapel. I don't believe it. That's what it says on the map. Ah. You said about the butterfly house on the map as well. Well, you can count them and I'll go look around the rest of the gardens. Okay. See you in six hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Oh 
Oh, so there's loads of birds in this little area now. So we've just Googled this. We think that this one is a great egret. But then there's loads. Uh, can you just see him flying there? There's loads of these other little white ones in this tree. There's loads of them. And we don't know what they are. We couldn't find them. But the great egret has just flown away. So we were lucky there. So we're all done in the gardens now so we uh, lovely place highly recommend it we are getting a little bit hungry so we're going to go to a north carolina fast food joint oh, really looking forward to this one so we've come to a bojangles as we've been driving through north carolina we've we keep seeing them everywhere yeah. i've never even heard of it no nope. yeah so when we googled it they are from like they based in north carolina i think they started there so we had to try one but look at that chicken burger. Oh, it's got three massive uh, gherkins on. I have already tried a fry, and they're unlike any other fry I've had from a fast food chain before. No. They're really nice. Yeah, and well, by gherkin, she means a pickle. A gherkin pick, three pickles. Yeah, we call them gherkins, but yeah, three pick, massive pickles on there. But the fries are nice. They're thicker than a normal standard fry, and they've got like a Cajun seasoning yeah. on. They're just unlike any other fry I've had from a fast food chain. They're really nice. Yeah. Probably one of the nicest I've had from anywhere. And then I've had uh, some fried chicken and some what they call thick fixings. How nice is this yeah. chicken? It looks nicer than, say, KFC Yeah, yeah, it looks chicken. really nice. Right, so I'm going to try this big, juicy, crispy chicken goodness. That is some nice fried chicken. Oh, no, nah, I've just bitten yours. I had a little bit of skin. I think it might be easier for me to try the drumstick. Oh, it's got a bit of a kick to it. I didn't say it was spicy, I just had the bone, it's just Cajun. chicken sandwich. Mm. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is nice. Oh, that is crispy. Mm, it's nice. Mm, it's got like um, a really Ooh. thick crust on it. It's like really unnobbly and gnarly. Mm. That's some great fast food fried chicken. Wow. They forgot my biscuit. I'm going to have to go get it. You just been you saying then have you got a biscuit in your bag i said no and you said mine should come with a biscuit i was like are you sure yeah i'm sure go get your biscuit i'm going get my biscuit. For it. go get your I'm biscuits going get it. got me biscuits they say they were famous for chicken and biscuits <laughs> so you can't not have the biscuits plus somebody loves biscuits i do love biscuits i do so uh i'm not expecting the greatest biscuit ever Hey, it's not bad. Is it a cheese biscuit or just a plain one? Plain biscuit. Just a plain biscuit, okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Notice they did in there, you were saying, was it called bow biscuits? Bowberry biscuits. Bowberry biscuits, yeah. They were like, got berries in. Bowberries? you probably like them. Yeah, they came with like berries and icing on top of them. So, uh, sounds nice. See, now, mine's going a bit cold. So I'm going to have to hurry up and eat this. I can't believe how nice this chicken is though. It's delicious. It's so that Bojangles was delicious. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, Did you? Nice, <laughs> crunchy, a little bit greasy, but it's a good job we got wet wipes. Were you glad you got your biscuits? Yes, definitely. But did it make it? Yeah, top of that <laughs> bit of that bean juice. Uh, but yeah, no, I really enjoyed Wilmington. Just a, a gorgeous place. Uh, we were speaking to a guy in the gardens. early gardens. He gave us a lift back on his little Golf, big golf cart thing. Big golf cart and he was saying that it's a really nice place to live around here. We were saying yes. that as we were walking around. What a gorgeous place this would be mm. to live. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we've had a great day. Yeah, uh, so we got a bit of a drive now and then tomorrow we're going to his favourite place in America. Yeah. Charleston. And, yeah, because he said to us, where are you going next? And we said, yeah, Charleston and uh, South Carolina. And he said that was his favourite place in yeah. America. He's taking so. his wife there in a few weeks, actually. <laughs> For a birthday, yeah. so we know all this stuff. Yeah. So uh, we, we got a few tips off him. So yeah. hopefully it's a nice day. But uh, yeah, a bit full now. So we best go worry up so I can go have a drink and lie down. But yeah, in the next video, we'll see you from Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah. See Bye. you next time. Bye. Bye.